that the role of homeopathy in cancer cases is marvelous, excellent, and totally curative. We, are, I got a live case here also that we'll see. When the system fails, why one develops cancer? This is a very important question. Why one develops cancer? Cancer is a disease of mind. Whenever three things together, you just remember, this is my experience. I worked to find out why a person suffers from cancer and I was not getting that answer. And I was after this answer, which I realized after 10 years of my practice, oh my God. One is fear, one is grief, and third is shock. All three together, all three together, fear, grief, and shock, when they come in anyone's life because of some incidents in the family or at the working place, he lands up into a cancer. Now, what type of cancer one will get? Even the emotions decide the site of cancer, which I was always saying, why you got a cancer? You tell me, where you got in December? What happened from June to December? And you just narrate me all the negative incidences in your life, and I'll come to a conclusion, yes, this is the cause, that is how I started writing down. And then I found, my God, it is so common. The left breast cancer of a woman is because of husband and right breast cancer of the woman is because of the child disturbances in the life and no one knows this we just say there is some pollution this that and person prone to cancer by the family history in genetic predisposition gets this cancer when the system fails when the mind gets disturbed and therefore, the disturbed mind by emotional trauma, like love, disappointment from children, spouse, loved ones, shock, grief, from death of the loved ones, insults, money loss, when all these three emotions come together, you get cancer. How cancer develops? There's a disturbed mind plus injury is initiation of cancer. Now I tell you, what is a disturbed mind? A predisposition of a person. Suppose if the person is very proudy, like I had one case, we are very proudy, and that is pride is a very important in this person, and she was insulted by a doctor very badly, and then resulted into cancer. So the pride is the nature state, mind state, and injury is an insult. So this together gave rise to cancer. Now you have an answer why not every smoker gets cancer and why non-smokers get cancer. Many patients take us throughout the life, throughout the life we are not smoking, we are not taking any um, tambaku, daru, then why I got a cancer. And there you, can, you can also see there are smokers, 110 years smokers, they are not getting cancer. Then smoking and tobacco, they are the causative factors. They are the secondary cause of cancer because primary is mind. When you are smoker and you get a disturbed mind with an injury, then you will get a cancer and it will be more common because you are smoking and damaging your lung cells. So this is the area where cells are regenerating. So this is a common site for cancer in that particular person. Therefore, smoker is always blamed, tobacco chewer is blamed. This is the reason of your cancer because you are smoking. But ha had he been not grieved or shocked, he would not have got cancer because crores of smokers are there, they are smoking and not everyone gets cancer. So the uh, point is to say that not allow you to smoke or eat tobacco, but to tell you that mind is a sole generator of all these diseases. Theory of mind is the cause of cancer I have already discussed. And you can see the right breast cancer, emotional disturbance by issue related to our children, left breast cancer, emotional disturbances by tissues related to husband. You can see the lung cancer is by insults, which I have seen. Now it has to be corroborated. These are my observations and that needs to be corroborated by everyone's efforts to put together why one got cancer. Liver cancer is the emotional disturbance by the issues of Issues related to the financial matters, prostate cancers in the man is the issues related to his children. I have seen many prostate cancer. If you go first ask them, we have no worries, we have no tensions. And when we come to a point, they say, yes, sir, my uh, daughter ran away with some boy and from that day I was grieved, shocked. 
with a fear that society will reject me. This all three came together, prostate cancer.